Here's the narration I owed you. وقال سعيد بن جبير عن ابن عن ابن عباس في قوله سعيد بن جبير narrates from ابن عباس أن وسواس الخناس قال الشيطان جاثم على قلب ابن آدم فإذا سها وغفل وسواس. So Shaytan plants himself right above the heart of the human being of the son of Adam, and as soon as the human being becomes lackadaisical, saha, lax, careless. وَغَفَلَ And becomes heedless and forgets, forgetful. وَسْوَسَ He puts in وَسْوَسَ And then, فَإِذَا ذَكَرَ اللَّهِ And as soon as he remembers Allah, خَنَسَ He retreats back. He takes a step back. So when you remember Allah, shaitan takes a step back. You stop remembering Allah, shaitan takes a step forward. And he's never stopping. It's not like he sees an opening and says, Yeah, I'm tired today. I don't want to do وَسْوَسَ today. I had a long... It's been a long few thousand years. He doesn't do that. And why he doesn't do that, we're going to learn in this ayah. Al-waswas al-khannas. Never takes a break. He'll ne- You're going to take a break from remembering Allah. He will not take a break from making you forget. He is working hard. He is working harder than any of us. So we have to fight back hard. It is not something that comes casually. The isti'adha from shaitan. You know, and shaitan is really good at what he does. He's really good. You gotta, you gotta appreciate the hard work he's putting in to throw people into hellfire. It's serious. You know, one of the easiest manifestations of shaitan, I said, ego, right? Kibra was his problem, and he wants to instill that into people. And one of the easiest ways to instill that into people is through anger. Anger is a manifestation of what? Ego. And shaitan is very good at making you angry. Have you ever seen a Muslim, Muslim brother gets really angry? What are you supposed to remind them of? Say what? Say, A'udhu Billahi When shaitan is really good with this guy, you know what he does? You say to the brother, hey brother, just calm down Say, A'udhu Billahi When shaitan What are you saying? I'm possessed by shaitan? And he gets even more angry And shaitan is sitting there laughing I got him good I got him I even got him to stop saying A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem SubhanAllah You know? So he's good at what he does, and we have to be able to... And it takes humility, right? It takes humility to take a step back and say, you know what? Shaitan is whispering. It's not me, it is Iblis that's whispering to me. I need to text, take a step back and humble myself before Allah, and realize that anger is something that, that is befitting to Allah, and is not befitting to me. It is not something I, I should be taking on myself. So I should take a step back and say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. Another narration, this is a very important narration to understand. Uh, and there, there are so many lessons in this one. عن أنس في قصة زيارة صفية للنبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وهو معتكف خروجه معها ليلا ليرضها إلى منزلها فل فلقيه رجلان من الأنصار. Okay, so the messenger goes in the night and he's returning his wife Safiya, the mother of the believers, رضي الله عنها, to her home. And on the way in the dark, they saw two of the Ansar. So here's the messenger. Here's his wife, رضي الله عنها, and there are two of the Ansar that are walking by. Now, the Messenger ﷺ tell, tell, tells his spouse to stop, and he tells them to stop. So they stop, and then he says, إِنَّهَا صَفِيَّةٌ بِنْ حَيِّ He said, this is Safiya. This is Safiya. And the Sahaba are like, why are you explaining to us who that is? Right? So the Sahaba say, you know what they say? فَقَالَ They both said, Subhanallah, Ya Rasulullah. Why did they say subhanallah, subhanallah, you don't have to explain to us. Why would we think that? Why would we think anything wrong? And so the messenger says, إِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ يَجْرِي مِنْ uh, uh, إِبْنِ آدَمْ مَجْرَ الدَّمْ Shaitan flows in the son of Adam like the flowing of blood. وَإِنِّي خَشِيتُ أَنْ يَقْذِفَ فِي قُلُوبِكُمَا شَيْئًا And I fear that he will put, he will launch something into your hearts. What is that hadith teaching us? The messenger is cautious of the waswasa of shaitan especially for the believers when it comes to them getting waswasa against who? Himself. And this is actually something that ties to what we started with. This skepticism about the sunnah is waswasa of shaitan against the messenger. Is waswasa of shaitan against the messenger of Allah And people fall victim to it. This waswasa is introduced to you. This, this surah tells us to look out for waswasa from two sources. From what two sources? Min al-jinnati wa nas You'll have these websites by evangelical ministers and by atheists and murtaddeen and you know, people who left Islam and things like that and they will quote all these hadith, look what your messenger did, look what he did in this hadith, look what he did in that hadith, how can you believe he's a messenger, what kind of man was he, etc, 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 etc. You know, they'll say those things. 
and the people who don't have enough knowledge and they're, they don't remember Allah. More importantly, they don't remember Allah much and the vacancy is there. They read that garbage and what happens? Shaitan pours right in, puts the waswasa in and their iman is shattered. Their iman is gone. The easier attack is not to attack iman in Allah. You know what the easier attack is? Iman in the Messenger of Allah. Accepting Allah is one thing. Accepting the Messenger is even further humility because you have to accept a human being's authority now. Who's going to be telling you what Allah wants from you? Right? And this waswasa comes in, in the time where we are living in a time of inflated egos, it's very easy to let that get in the way. That's really the, the psychological origin of I like Quran, but Sunnah, I don't know. Quran from Allah, I can accept that much humility. But humility to a human being, to a messenger, I don't know. And his job was just to deliver, ma'adullah. You know, he just delivered the Quran and everything else about him is his own personal business. I don't have to take that seriously. This is the attitude that is developed. Subhanallah. You'll find even subconsciously people will say, Brother, I heard this, this and this is haram. And the shaykh will say, yes, it's haram. Is that in the Quran? They'll say, is it in the Quran? You know what they don't say? Is it in the Quran or the sunnah? No, sunnah is out. <laughs> if it's not in the Quran, well, it's not that haram then. It can't be that haram because it's not in the Quran. That's the attitude that's developed. Subhanallah. This is waswasa of shaitan. This is a big waswasa of our time. And this is against the, the nobility and the place of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, And he was afraid that the Sahaba would even get the wrong idea about his character Even though they know him like that But Shaitan is just that powerful He's just, and he, if he's that powerful against the Ansar Ansar al Madina who see Rasulullah with their eyes And he can get to them, he, does, he can't get to us He can't get to us, we have to be careful We have to watch out Especially for the things that the Messenger showed specific concern for, we should be, go, we should be going out of our way to be concerned for those things. The isma, the, the nobility, and the, the honoring of Allah's Messenger, and His place in our iman, in our aqidah. You know, you say something inappropriate about Allah's Messenger, all of your iman's gone. All of it's gone. All of it. Download our mobile applications or register on our official website to get access to exclusive content. Links given in description of video.